All right, guys. So um, I'm out at the car today. Basically, what I did is uh, I raised the car up, and what I'm going to be doing is uh, actually taking my knuckles off, and I'm going to be sign sending them out to uh, Brian Broom. Um, I met him on Facebook a while back. Uh, ever since uh, I started drifting, um, I noticed that he made his own knuckles, and I've heard a lot of great reviews about him. So I thought, hey, give him a shout. Uh, see if I send him out to him if he could help me out. And uh, yeah, so that's what we're going to do today. Uh, so the first step basically is is uh, you're gonna have to raise your car up, uh, get the car on some jack stands, make sure you guys are being safe. Um, we'll loosen the uh, lug nuts on your wheels and take your wheels off. All right, guys. So now basically, um, what we gotta do since I have my spacer on and stuff uh, to get to the actual knuckle, I'm gonna have to start taking all this off. So I took off my wheel with the lugs. Now I'm taking off the spacer. Um, I'll take off the spacer and then going from there we'll take off the uh, brake caliper and then uh, yeah and then like I said I'll, we'll go step by step to how to get your knuckle off okay so uh, basically I got that off now so what I'm gonna be doing is taking off uh, the caliper and the caliper is pretty simple you just have a, a bolt up here and a bolt down here uh, you want to be careful though with your lines because you do have some hard lines so that's what I would really just be focused on that hard line you just want to be really careful about but uh that's the one bolt that we have to take off and then the other one is uh right behind that line right there so that's what we're gonna be doing okay so i got the brake caliper off now so now basically what you have to do so 19 millimeter here there will be a cotter pin you're gonna have to work with that that's 19 millimeter i broke the cotter pin as you can see so i have to kind of fish that out and then i got this cotter pin out of this one right here and this one's a little bit bigger. Um, this one is a size 22. Um, the best way to get all these is uh, just by using wrenches uh, to break them loose and such. But uh, I'm taking that one off now, and then I'll take off that 19, and it should free things up. All right, guys, so um, a little trick when you're taking off the knuckle. If you take off this bolt, um, like, like break it loose a little bit, and then break, uh, the lower tie rod loose also but keep the bolts back in um, basically what you'll be able to do is kind of wiggle this around a little bit then fully take off this you're gonna bang this out and then you'll take this one out so like basically the whole entire knuckle will actually fall and then all you'll have to do is you can fully spin this all the way around so you can get to this so then you can take off that cotter pin and then you can also uh, take off that nut it just makes things super simple if you just like I said get these two off first and then work on that one because uh, I was trying to do that one and it was just terrible so that's what I would do that one that one then that one all right guys so uh basically I got everything off those cotter pins sucks just so you guys know this is what you end up with so now uh my wheel bearings pretty shot as the guys were telling me so I need to get that fixed but what I'm going to have to do is completely dissemble this, so that's what I'm about to do. So guys, basically this is what it's going to look like at the, uh, after you're all done. So now um, with Brian, if you actually take out, uh, take off everything off the knuckle, um, like the bearings, everything like that, and just give him the bare knuckle, he'll actually give you a good price. Um, it's like 150 bucks. you ship them out to him, and uh, he'll do all the fab work, and then he'll send them back to you. So uh, I'm pretty pumped can't wait to get these out so basically that's what it would look like on this side um, all I really did to hold up the caliper was kind of like it, this lines pretty like tight here so I kind of just stuck it in there and then you, you can always use like a uh, zip tie and kind of zip tie it to somewhere else to hold up but this isn't going anywhere so I'm not worried about it so that's what that side looks like and the same thing over here so that's the official outcome of that so as you guys can see, uh, this boot is shot, this boot is shot. Um, what I can actually do is when I get all my angle done with uh, Brian, I'm actually gonna be getting rack spacers, so I'm gonna replacing, uh, be replacing this anyway, so that's not that big of a deal. These, yeah, it sucks, I'm gonna have to do that. And my wheel bearings also are pretty shot. So, I mean, this is what you get basically when you get a car for, <laughs> like a shell for 400 bucks. I mean, like, obviously things are gonna not be what exactly what we want so um 
But yeah, going off from that, all this is just power steering from just like moving the wheel around to get all the bolts and stuff. So that's all junk. Don't worry about that. Um, but yeah, so knuckles are off. Basically, I'm just gonna strip these down to bare knuckles. So all I have to do is just ship him out that and uh, this part. And then yeah, like I said, he'll be able to fab those up, uh, extend them, and we'll be able to have some sweet angle. So I'm pretty pumped about that. <laughs> all right, guys. So. Uh, I have my knuckles all in a box. I'm in advance right now because I got to get a specific socket. So the homies are here. So I was gonna see if they're gonna hook me up. Let me use the socket real quick so I can uh, get those big nuts off. So, oh yeah, donuts. Is that what you want? Donuts, not burnouts. Donuts. Oh yeah, yeah. Right we gotta get this. We gotta. We gotta get the freaking. What's it called? Straight pipe again. We gotta oh, get. He had to put we gotta, it. We gotta yeah. get this. I had to put. I had to put a resonator on. I Why? Got stopped by the cops. You got stopped, yeah. and they were like, "Nope, 50, not happening." Fifty-five dollars. Fifty-five dollars exhaust ticket. Oh. I was so mad. I was like, "What are you, you talking about?" I by a cop this morning. I was off the throttle, 100. percent Yeah, that's what you do. Yeah, you just Spend go real straight. slow. Look right at me. I was like, oh please, Lord. I was like, don't let this man turn around. Yellow headlights and everything. Yeah, I'm like yellow headlights. <laughs> Freaking like, Twan, yo. <laughs> What's it called? Um, I got a question for you. Can I use a socket? We got to take some nuts off. I got them, and I got my impact too. All right, word. Let's go. So we were able to get this one off pretty easily. So you're just gonna need one and one quarter. Uh, socket uh, or what size is it? 32 millimeter. So 32 millimeter socket or uh, one and one quarter. We checked it last night. So this one came off super easy. This one, it, I mean, this is brand new. Someone already replaced this. Like that's all brand new stuff. This one, on the other hand, yeah, it's probably crusty. like 20, a little crusty, three, 24 years old. So. Uh, we, uh, Julian just sprayed it real quick, so we're just gonna do that and then zap it off. And then... all right, guys, so got them off. Finally, uh, this one looks like it's already been replaced, like recently. So it's pretty easy to just zap it right off with uh, that 32 millimeter socket with the impact. This one, on the other hand, you can obviously tell that it's been old. So this one took a while, took some loving, but we finally got it off. <laughs> Dude, my hand, I got a bruised hand now because the impact for you trying to get this thing off, but yeah, these are done. So now all I gotta do is just take them home, press them out, and then, uh, yeah, like I said, probably just take off the dust shield and stuff and just be able to send those out to Brian, so. I'm gonna press out the car camera out. <laughs> <laughs> True. Because we're probably gonna replace the hubs anyway. Yeah, yeah. So, all that's really important is the knuckle because this one definitely needs replacing. Oh yeah. I mean, this one, it was replaced, but you already felt it when it was on the yeah, car. Yeah, yeah, it, it was all messed felt up. Jank, yeah. like, I don't know. Yeah, so, well, that's that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yo, so thanks to these dudes again, sure. always hooking me up, taking these freaking nuts off. This dude always coming through. Always. <laughs> so, <laughs> always. <laughs> all right, so, um, yeah, so, oh. Deuces, boys. <laughs> brat, 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 brat. <laughs> so I just wanted to show you guys too. Uh, Julian found these in the junkyard, so he hooked me uh, hooked me up with these for twenty bucks. So I'm pretty stoked about that. So that's also going to be a new addition. Um, and then, like I said, I have those JDM uh, tail lights also. So yeah, uh, both Z's are going to be looking freaking crazy. So just want to give you guys a little update on these. So mainly this video was just to help you guys uh, a DIY on basically how to take off your uh, knuckles in the front. So um, real simple, just stick to exactly what I showed you guys. All you're gonna need, like I said, are, are those picks, um, a 19 millimeter uh, wrench, a 22 millimeter wrench, um, and a size 12 socket for uh, like the little brackets, um, and a size 19 uh, socket for uh, the brake calipers. But real simple, real easy. Um, thanks for watching guys. We are over 650 subscribers, which is sick. Thank you very much uh, If you haven't subscribed yet smash the subscribe button hit the like button show it Let us know what you guys are feeling uh, down in the comments 
We are super thankful. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.